Are you looking for the best floor jacks in your budget? Well in today's video we break down the top 5 best floor jacks that are available on the market. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below. And also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Arcan 3-ton Quick Rise Aluminum Floor Jack. The Arcan is the same 3-ton floor jack with different branding as at least 5 other brands, including the Sunex 6603 ASJ and JEGS 80077, which is what we use in the Auto Guide Garage. Big Red, Torin, TCE also sell a jack which, other than a different rear caster design, appears identical. This is an excellent opportunity to shop for the best price as you're just getting the same thing in different colors. When we wrote this, the Arkin was priced much lower than the other two. This is more than a basic hydraulic jack, designed to lift heavier vehicles with its 3-ton capacity. It is constructed from aluminum so it's 15 to 20 pounds lighter than a 3-ton steel car jack, making it easier to maneuver around your garage. The Arkin is listed at 56 pounds and measures 30x 13.5x 8 inches. If you can pick up almost 60 pounds, it has large, convenient handles. Otherwise, the casters roll easily. Weights listed vary for the different brands. Our identical JEGS was advertised at 58 pounds and shows 54.8 pounds on a digital scale. Maybe yellow paint is lighter than green. To raise the 4.5 inches rotating saddle quickly, it's built with dual pump pistons. While a reinforced lift arm contributes to increased strength, chassis torsion control, and durability under load. We've found it takes about 10 full pumps to get the full 15.75 inches raise. From 3.5 to the maximum height of 19.25 inches, there is a rubber insert in the saddle, which isn't particularly useful, and a foam handle bumper to protect against accidental run-ins with your vehicle, which is useful. The side mount handles help for convenient positioning, and we haven't found that they get in the way. Our has performed extremely well. Lifting our 4,200-pound Dodge Magnum RT easily and dependably. Up next in the fourth place is the Pittsburgh 3-ton heavy-duty floor jack with rapid pump. When it comes to value, the Pittsburgh 3-ton heavy-duty floor jack is hard to beat. As the name implies, this jack has a working capacity of 6,000 pounds. But our favorite feature is the rapid pump technology that is able to lift most loads in just 3 half pumps thanks to its dual parallel pump system. With a minimum height of only 5 and 8 of inches, the Pittsburgh 3-ton floor jack can slide under most any vehicle and boasts a maximum lift height of 18 a quarter inches as well. The jack has a total length of 27 half a inches, width of 14 3 8 of inches, and handle length of 45 5 8 of inches, with an advertised shipping weight of 83 pounds. Make sure you lift with your legs dot 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 and maybe give the delivery guy a tip. Other features include a protective foam bumper on the jack handle to protect your vehicle from scratches, extra wide steel casters for added stability, and heavy duty precision welding. It also offers precision control load descent so your vehicle doesn't drop down too aggressively. The third product on our list is the Powerbuilt Extra Low Profile Floor Vehicle Jack. If you have a lowered vehicle, or just a sports car or classic car. Powerbuilt's extra low-profile floor jack is designed for vehicles as low as 2.75 inches, and it's capable of raising up to 15.5 inches. It's also a good option if you've got a unibody vehicle and you're finding it difficult to position jack stands without accessible frame rails. That's because it's equipped with a steel safety bar that slides under the lift arm, securing the jack in its raised position, although the company says the safety bar eliminates the need for jack stands. We would still use jack stands if at all possible anytime we were getting underneath our vehicle. Other features on this floor jack include a wide base and roller to improve stability, while the ball bearing swivel casters make it easy to maneuver around your garage. A rear carry handle lets you carry the jack to storage when it's not being used. The drawbacks are that the all steel construction adds weight at 58.7 pounds, and the arm design means you can't get it very far under your car. It is compact and measures 13.4 x 24.7 x 7.75 inches. The saddle is small and doesn't rotate. It has a rubber insert, but they don't last long in any jack. Users report trouble lowering slowly and smoothly. We recommend bleeding all jacks before you use them the first time, 
or when you have problems. See the table of contents for tips on setting up a jack before using it and bleeding it if there are problems. Second on our list is the Pro Lift F767 Gray Low Profile Floor Jack. If you don't work on your car often, but still want a major upgrade from a scissor jack, we like this jack from Pro Lift. It's a single cylinder, low profile car jack with a two ton capacity and features a lifting range of 3.5 to 14 inches. The company uses a patented bypass device to protect against over pumping, while a built in safety valve provides overload protection meaning it won't lift if there's too much weight on it, which can blow out seals and valves. Both these features contribute to safer operation. But again, always use jack stands when crawling underneath a vehicle, conveniently. It's 30 pounds, which is a lot lighter than most other hydraulic jacks, and it has a molded plastic top handle for lifting. We've had light-duty car jacks with top handles like this before, and they've held up just fine. It measures 17.91 x 5.32 x 8.47 inches, which is a smaller than the big jacks as well. Being narrow isn't good for stability. You'll need a more pumps to raise it than with a dual cylinder quick lift jack. And it doesn't raise as high, but it's only 3.5 inches tall at its lowest. So there isn't much it can't get under. A small 2.25 inches saddle rotates freely. That's not a very large area to support a car. But it also fits into small factory jacking points that a garage jack might not. Our biggest complaint with the Pro Lift F767 is how many pumps it takes for a full lift. When we got it into the Auto Guide garage, we tried it out before bleeding, and it took 52 pumps to get all the way up. Our double cylinder Jags jack needs 7. We were actually excited to be able to demonstrate how important it is to bleed a new jack. But after running through our complete bleeding procedure 4 times, it still took exactly the same 52 pumps. Ours also came very low on fluid, requiring us to buy a bottle of hydraulic jack oil and pour in several ounces before there was enough to cover the top of the cylinder. The filler has a tightly fit rubber plug that requires a thin flathead screwdriver and a pair of pliers to remove. And we we worried about ripping it. There was no sign of leaks either before filling or after. So it looks like it was underfilled from the factory. And we don't anticipate having to add more anytime soon. Finally, the top product on our list is the Pro Eagle 3 ton big wheel hydraulic off road jack. If you're off roading, you probably have a high lift jack that can lift several feet. But those aren't convenient or very stable for everyday garage use. Cook's 3 ton Pro Eagle jack gives you the convenience of a hydraulic floor jack with up to 28 inches of lifting ability, at least a foot more than any regular service jack. The 3 ton capacity makes it useful for more than just off road vehicles. And it would be perfect for UTVs and ATVs, trailers, and small tractors. It's also designed for rough surfaces, with oversized tires and heavy-duty axles. It comes with an 8-inch adjustable lifting post. And there's an optional additional 13 inches extension if your frame is that high off the ground. It's built with sealed bearings to keep out dust and water, all stainless fasteners, and beefy side plates for stability. The all-aluminum chassis keeps weight down to a very reasonable 60 pounds. The minimum height, without the extension, is 6 inches, which will be too tall to get under lower cars. The large wheels give it a big footprint, 34 x 15 x 10 inches. And between that and the height, you won't be tucking it away in a tight corner. Some versions come with standard side handles, while others have a grab handle, but the mechanical construction is the same. Numerous accessories including mounts, pads, toolkits, and the 13 inches extension are available. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video till next time.